Good morning everyone. We are so glad to be here with you today. Clive certainly seems very excited to be with us today. Do you think you could keep still for a moment Clive? You'll try. But it's hard to be still when you're so excited. Well I'm glad to see that you're being so excited to be here today. That's not why you're excited. Oh, sorry everyone. He's not excited about being here. He's not excited about seeing you. Well, it's nice to be here. But something much more exciting has happened. Oh, what's that? You've had a special delivery. It came this morning. A special delivery for you? Well, that is exciting. What is it? And who is it from? It's from your aunt. She sent you a cake. Now we know why he is so excited. It's a chocolate cake. It looks delicious. Would you like to see? Here it is. This is the cake that his aunt sent him. You love your aunt. You really love cake. And you really, really love chocolate cake. Well, I think we all know how much you love cake. And I'm glad to hear that you love your aunt. And I hope it's not just because she sends cake. Is there anything else that you love, Clive? You love bananas. You love eating them. But not as much as cake. You love biscuits too. Do you love anything non-edible? You love trees. You love looking at them and climbing them. Especially really tall ones. You love spring flowers. You love the colours and the scents. And you love to hear birds singing when it's really quiet. So do I. You love colouring. You love dancing. You love kittens. I didn't know that. You love lots of things. You love me. Oh, and I love you too, Clive. Love is quite amazing. Just like Clive, I'm sure there are many things that you love. Maybe things that you eat or things you see or things you smell or things you can hear and things you can taste or do. And of course, there will be people that you love, family and friends too. And some of us might add God to the list and say that we love him too. And perhaps we might have said him first. But whether God is on our list or not, we are on his list. We are those that he loves. He loves us and he loves you. And did you know that not only does God love you so much that in Jesus he died to save you, but God is love. He expresses his love for you every day in the things that you see and hear and taste and smell and do. Those are good gifts that God lavishes on us. And without God, there would be no love. That emotion that we feel is God in us because we are made in his likeness and so we resemble him. God is love and we love because he first loved us. We can love one another 
and we can love the things that we see and taste and smell and hear and do. But God is there in that because God is love. So if we say we love sunny days, God is in that love. That's right. And when we love cake, God is in that love. Yes. And when we love people, God is in that love too. Yes, he is. He is love. And when we share love with one another, we are sharing him. Love is definitely for sharing. Can you have another look at your cake? Of course. It looks very delicious. You love the way it smells so chocolatey. You really love this cake. If God is love and he is in the love you have for this cake, if you share the cake, you'll be sharing him. That's right. You share God's love as you share the cake. It's a good way of explaining it. You are going to share the cake with me, with the families in church on Sunday. Well, I think they'll really like that. But let's say goodbye for now. We'll see you again next week. It's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Clive. And we hope you have a really blessed week. Goodbye.